Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Brefa with Sergio. We're doing these special edition episodes with visiting artists in their home studios as we all go through the lockdown. And today I'm very excited to be visiting the studio of Patrick Killian. He's in the South Wales, in UK, and you can see him working right now on his uh, next painting. And we're so happy to be with him and talking about how we're adjusting as artists to you know, what's going on right now, the lack of travel, particularly Patrick is an artist who does a lot of travel. So how is he adapting and how is he kind of creating a new schedule to be at home? So don't go anywhere. It's going to be a great conversation. Well, Patrick, super happy to be here, man. We are visiting your studio. And so you are an artist at work. How are you doing? I'm great, Sergio. Th thanks for having me on. And uh, I, My I, I just want—I just wanted to say congrats on the uh, breakfast with Sergio videos. I think they're brilliant. They're very Thank informative you. for people. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, it's been a very humbling experience for me to connect with so many artists like yourself exactly, exactly. Um, and uh, who are inviting me and all our friends who are watching to your homes because this is like a you know we are you're welcoming the world to your home and that's what a an amazing thing we can do even though we are all in lockdown, but we have access. It's kind of weird, yeah. right? It's really hard to understand in our mind. Like, I'm not anywhere, but at the same time, I can be in so many places <laughs> today. It's strange, man. It's, it's an amazing time for everybody. <laughs> exactly. You know? So, I, I, and I mean, <laughs> the, the, you know, the, the concept of being able to go live with people. I mean, yeah. it's just, you know, can you imagine if we'd gone lockdown 15 years back? I oh, think oh. we would have been struggling. Forget it. A lot yeah. more. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, Patrick, tell me a little bit how things uh, are right now in the UK, particularly the area where you're at. Um, you know, how is the lockdown going for you? Well, everybody, you know, this, this the government is saying to, uh, to stay in, and, and it's mm -hmm. really just, uh, you know, we've got to help the NHS out. I mean, if we, uh, if everybody's going out and, and getting cont and getting this uh, this virus, mm -hmm. everybody's going to be because my sister works in the NHS, okay. and she's, um, she's uh, you know, she's telling me all the time, it's very, you know, it's difficult. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I, just everybody's exactly the same all over the world. I think we're all struggling a little bit. You know, it's a, it's a big change. No, you know, I, I, I enjoy going out for my, I'm in the studio all the time at home, so I really do enjoy going out for a coffee or a little yeah. bit of, either breakfast or lunch just to and then plan my day but yeah. um that's out the window exactly you know and very quickly so, monday looks like friday and friday looks like monday uh, well I, I i i lose track of my days anyway but um i mean it's even worse uh at the moment yeah well patrick uh one of the the uh interesting things about your art career is that you travel a lot uh, you do uh, as, as we are looking at right now, you know, you are, you are a painter, but you also have a series of boxers, which uh, I love. And you travel to a lot of places where there are these very famous uh, boxing fights. So you go yeah. there and you do presentations and you do you know, beautiful work. And, and so, okay. so, you know, that is, depends on traveling. <laughs> uh, so it tell does. me how, how this pandemic right now has affected that part of your art business. Well, straight off for me, uh, I was I was about to head to New York mm -hmm. uh, for for a, a, a young fighter um, from Ireland, Mick Conlon. So mm -hmm. I was heading out to um, to New York f for the seventeenth of March. It was St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> my it, in fairness to my sister, she actually told me off. To be honest, Sergio, uh -huh. it ha it hadn't been locked down. Uh, nothing had been shut as such. At okay. the time, it was something like the, the 11th of March. And I had literally booked my hotel uh -huh. because the fight was still going ahead. Yeah. And so I, I, I had actually booked the hotel. I was, I was about to book the flight. Mm -hmm. I actually couldn't book the flight, which was, you know, great for me, really. Um, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I, there was free cancellation on the hotel, so I was lucky. And, and then after a chat with my sister, to be honest, she made me not go. And the day before the fight, it was actually cancelled. Only one day before. Wow. And that's when it really hit. 
And because my, my sister was saying, look, if you go out there and there's a lockdown, you're not going to be able to get back. But is your insurance going to cover everything? Mm-hmm. So she was good to do that, you know. Mm. Um, so it's it's. Uh, I love the traveling part. I love meeting people. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a very good relationship out there with. Um, there's a hotel opposite the uh, Madison Square Garden, which is um, the Stewart Hotel, mm-hmm. and they they they're brilliant with me. And um, unfortunately, you know, this time, it's uh, it's working in the home. Right. I, I don't mind that man. I, I I like my studio. I, I you know it's um it's just uh it's just getting on with it now, the same as everybody else really. Yeah, no, th- thoroughly. Now But it's mm-hmm, go ahead. Go on, sorry. Well I, I was gonna say, tell me a little bit about and we'll we'll continue talking about, you know, adapting to the studio, but I'm really interested uh about uh you know that series of uh, boxing. Uh, how long right. you've been doing that and uh, how did you start it with that series? Well, I actually boxed myself uh, ah, okay. so back back in my days when I was younger. So the and I, and I and obviously I was I was in art college at the time as well. Mm. Back I'm talking about back no my 1995. Well, I was when I left college, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, it was so it was a big part of my life growing up. From 16 years of age, I did a general art and design course, and then went on to do an illustration course. Mm. But boxing was always there. Okay. So, so for me, uh, to to paint these heroes of mine, I guess mm-hmm. back in the day, you know, was just a natural thing. Mm. Um, and and it's progressed from that. Yeah. I don't just paint the boxes, but but it is a it, it's probably something that I'm more known for. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just gone on from the last, especially the last few years. Um, I've made a point of traveling to, you know, Vegas, Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia, New York, Mm. um, where all the big fights are. Yeah. And I've had some amazing times and and some amazing opportunities, uh, Sergio, from it, you know? Right. I I was a big fan of Julio Cesar Chavez, the uh, boxer from Mexico. What a fighter. What a fighter. Good fighter. Uh, funny, funny enough, he, he probably was somebody that, you know, I remember watching him with my father, mm-hmm. and he was probably someone that, you know, de- definitely inspired me. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love the the story of the boxing. That's kind of why I brought it in because I think there's a certain discipline. And so I, I didn't know you were a boxer. You know, up to right now, uh, that right. you practice that. So there's this discipline of boxing. Yeah, probably it also helps you now in the discipline of being an artist. Can we talk a little about that? that, that, That's a really interesting point you brought up there, Sergio. Because you know what, a a career as an artist, Mm -hmm. a lot of people it it is very difficult. Yeah, and a lot of and a lot of people, um, you know, boxing has really helped me as as a business side of it as well. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I mean that from, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, some cliche like with the Rocky films, you, you know, when you get knocked <laughs> down, you've got to get back up. But yeah, it's yeah. right, you know? Right, because yeah. With, with art, you, you are knocked, knocked back a lot. A lot, and yeah. And I'm always, uh, I, I'm always positive, Sergio. Mm-hmm. Even, if, even if there's a, you know, I, I've gone to many places mm-hmm. and exhibited my work and not sold pieces. Mm-hmm. I might have sold the prints, but I might not have sold the original for what I wanted. Mm-hmm. But I've never looked at that as a bad thing. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. to me, you know, I, I always look at the other things that has happened and and what what I got from that, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. boxing has certainly made me uh, fight for it, I guess, you know? Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Keep, and keep striving yeah, for for that yeah for the for the goal and for the um and just doing what i want there's a passion there you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah I, I love that overall picture right like you cannot judge the five by one punch right yeah so, same as the art career one yeah, yeah. One, uh, and it's very interesting punch. because a boxer a fighter will start their career mm-hmm. and they will start off very similar in a sense to an artist where you can't sell your work for good prices mm-hmm. starting off 
The same right. as a fighter. A fighter will start off boxing and they won't have a very good payday because nobody right. knows them. Right. So, you know, it's a, in a very similar sense where, you know, they've had 10 fights, they've had 10 wins. I mm-hmm. might have done 10 paintings and sold a few of them. Mm-hmm. And gradually, you know, you put your price up gradually mm-hmm. and gradually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very similar to a fighter. You know, a fighter's coming along, he's, he's winning, he's winning a British title, he wins a European title. And he's right. going for that. He's going for that big. You know, he's going. He's getting better and better, mm-hmm. and striving for, for that better outcome. Mm. So I love that aspect of it. Yes, I, 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 I've looked at that myself. You know, in in terms yeah. of business and um, art, the art, the art world sort of thing. I love that. I love that. That's very interesting. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about then adaptation, right? How do we adapt at home? And that's something that actually we chatted just a couple of minutes before the, the video. And we're talking about, you know, how do we adapt to now working indoor when you don't know exactly what day is what and everything is kind of blurred <laughs> from day to day. Uh, how, are yeah. you, how are you keeping up your studio practice, um, you know, in the well, everyday life? It's something you know. We just mentioned discipline, and it is, and it is, uh, it is, it has been difficult um, because yeah. what 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 is done? What what happened for me? Mm-hmm. I I recently been to Las Vegas um, for a big fight mm-hmm. uh, for Wilder versus Fury, mm-hmm. and you know it was it was okay. Um, I came back from Las Vegas, and I was a little bit relaxed. Mm-hmm. And then the problem is we had this pandemic mm-hmm. um, and it is created more because there's no schedule now. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to be, I have got commissions to do, but I can't go and see them anyway. Right. So it, it's put, it's put a, um, it, the schedules, you know, it has made me a little bit too relaxed. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Although I am, I am a, you know, I have got, I have got the willpower and I, I make myself do it, to be honest, uh, Sergio, yeah. even, you know, but the funny thing with me is I, I, I become more creative later on. I, I certainly, we, we spoke about this earlier. I certainly become more creative later in the evening. Mm, which is for me is the same. <laughs> I, I've read it a few times, you know, they, they say the early bird gets the worm, but uh, there's, <laughs> there's another saying for the owl. <laughs> What's the owl one? I don't know. I don't know, but there's still a worm left somewhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, so I, I, I found it a little bit strange in that in that aspect. Although you know, I'm very much like you. I think in the in the day, I might go to the, I might have to go to the post office, the printers. I might mm-hmm. be designing something. Uh, I might be emailing people, and then the creative side comes out sometimes. And actually, from what's the time now? Eight o'clock. It could be till three in the morning. Wow! Yeah, exactly. So you know, it could. And 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 the funny thing is, sometimes that creative streak doesn't come in till two in the morning, and you just work through, right? Until <laughs> the next day. <laughs> until the day carries over. <laughs> but, that's yeah. That's how it is. Yeah, and, and kind of uh, that's a thing right now. As all of us as artists, it's not easy. This is we are all experiencing this together. Then. It's okay, you know. Some days are better than others. It's just what yeah. it is, and we just gotta be gracious with ourselves and um, not really punish our ourselves for, um, you know. And I think that's my problem, yeah. Sergio. I think I do. I, I I'm not sure what you're like or what other artists mm-hmm. are like. I I do. Uh, I beat myself up a bit, but okay. you know, and I, and I and I try to not do that because yeah. I sometimes say, well, why am I, you know? Yeah. Why am I worried about, you know, I, I shouldn't do that. But we right. do because, yeah. you know, I listen to a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk and um, oh, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of other people. And, yeah. You know, I simply, the hustle, I, hustle. I, I, yeah, the hustle life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, the, the, uh, the reality is that we, I mean, we could always be doing something, but the yeah. reality is that we don't always have to be doing something. Uh, and no, sometimes, you're right. And sometimes that pull, I always think of it almost like boxing, you know, just going back to boxing. I always think about pushing and pulling, right? There's a time in which you push and then there's a time in which you pull back, right? And and sometimes when you pull back, it kind of gives you the strength to push again harder, right? Hit the next punch much harder because you took those couple of steps back that give you the energy to then come back with more force. 
Um, that's a good. That's a good point. That is a good point. And I think that that's helped. So, well, Patrick, you know, believe it or not, time goes like flying super fast. Uh, you know, for our friends who are watching this right now and also for friends who are listening to the podcast, um, tell us what are you working on right now in the painting and we'll close, uh, you know, the episode. Well, with, it's, a, you know. <laughs> it's actually the, the Gypsy King. It obviously, it's backwards, I think, to, to what you see it. Um, yeah. But it's actually, uh, if I drop it down a little bit more so you can see, oh, it's, I see, actually, I see. Okay. it's actually a victory from uh, against Deontay Wilder and he's with his brother Shane and, um, oh, I do. okay so what I wanted to capture and mm -hmm. I love and this was from this is stills from a uh, video okay uh, and what I actually liked was this 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 part you know he's, he's the gypsy king and <laughs> okay. what I love is the fact that you know he come in as the king on a throne yeah and I, and I love this look and I, right. wanted to cap I wanted to capture that, you know, mm -hmm. and the fact that he got the victory as well. So got I wanted, it. I want, I call, I call this the victory. It looks cool. That's awesome. That we couldn't, we couldn't yeah. see the rest of the painting until you move the, the screen, which was pretty cool. Uh, so, well, Patrick, how can our friends uh, find you on social media, on your website, how they can connect with you? Well, I'm on, I'm on everything. Uh, Instagram at Killian underscore art. Mm -hmm. Twitter. Patrick J. Killian. Um, I'm, I'm on everything. I type my name and I should pop up somewhere. Okay. Patrick Killian. I, so that's how you define. How about your website? Uh, KillianArt.com. KillianArt.com. Super easy. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for, uh, again, welcome us all into your studio. It was really a pleasure meeting you here in person, not only through social media, which is great, and uh, see you working as well. And thank you for sharing the things that you're doing. We wish you great success uh great comeback you, you know good. as uh, everything goes back to to work thank you very much I, i'm enjoying the show keep up keep it up I lo i'm loving it thank you very much okay. thanks patrick well all our friends who are watching this thank you so much for joining us today uh please uh, reach out to patrick and i we would love to hear from you please share this episode with your friends as well and uh you know we uh we are appreciative of your time as well thank you my friends we'll see you next time goodbye